Corbin, did you know that muffins spelled backwards is exactly what you do to them when you take them out of the oven? What? Did you know that muffins spelled backwards is exactly what you do to them when you take them out of the oven? You sniff them. That's muffins spelled backwards. Sniff them. Indians don't sniff their food. You should. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid pranks. What's up, Corbin? Sniff your food. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to your support. Patreon follows us on Instagram. Who was it that recently did that? And I said, yeah, there you go. I pointed it out to Andrani. I don't remember. But anyway, yeah. What? I mean, that's part of the part of the process. We've said it before. I mean, it's all connected. Why do you think people, before they take a sip of wine, smell the wine? Uh, today we have an uh, interview. It's a snippet of an interview with uh, Anupam Chopra. Uh, interviewing someone or being interviewed herself? In, interviewing. It's a panel, but this is okay. specifically the director of the, the behind the scenes of what we just did. Oh, the train. The train. Telugu. This is him. Got it. The director. This is a snippet of him talking about okay. uh, an excerpt. This is an excerpt from the interview uh, by her with the uh, with prominent the political Petri directors Martin. of India. Prominent. He. Pol- He's known as a political director. What does that What does that mean? He said a film that includes... Directors that have stories make, that involved politics? I guess. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's just they like to classify a lot of stuff. Like yeah. Noaz, he's a negative actor. <laughs> like, I guess. He's a negative character or whatever. Um, so I'm okay, like, well, somebody here that would fall into that category that you don't hear a lot from anymore, but back in the day that would be considered a political director would have been Oliver Stone. That's true. All of his films are political statements. Maybe it's like that. Gotcha. Um, so, but this is him talking um, specifically about, I think, this film as well. So, um, here we go. To film companion for your film fix, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. From All India Bakcho. Deji, in your film, Mr. Nai, about a harrowing film about police brutality. Wow, I would have liked to have known more. It didn't seem that political. There's a character who says, um, the system is all powerful. We are only pawns. Um, today, it feels like the system is even more powerful. Um, the conversation is so shrill. It's so polarized. How do artists who want to tell political stories function today? Mm. What is? What are you all experiencing? Anyone? <laughs> no one wants to talk about that. <laughs> I, I would say that... Uh, this is him. My politics is my films and uh, on a personal level my problem is to say the story that's more relevant today because everything today is like you know we all are being stifled so to pick up the right one which is going to be of the most relevance and most which has the most urgency to discuss. I think that's more important. And then making a film that has a political view, a strong view, means we are saying something that the system is not going to like. And uh, it it really needs to make a film on, on those of those kind. Like it really needs a big support system to do it. You need an investor, you need... Uh, actors or, or non-actors, someone to come in and, and pull this off so that we are able to deliver the film. It's it's a uh, it's a teamwork and all of us are unhappy with this whole setup. Like not just the people who want to make films out of the uh, issues. The whole world is unhappy. We have some people voice it, some people don't. I feel that that is why all this is happening. We are able to make films and uh, you guys are able to do this. Dibakar, you said in an interview that uh, you keep raising your voice and you make risk, uh, you make calculation about how much personal risk you can take. Let me talk about that calculation when you make your films. Um, 
Asuran is also all your films deal with corruption. They deal with the, the privileged and the not privileged. Uh, they deal with caste. How do you make this calculation? How do you figure out that I can say this, but this will be too much? Uh, see, first uh, uh, to understand the kind of films that I'm allowed to make, you need to understand. Uh, Are they near an ocean? Tamil cinema scenario better, yeah. because unlike any other. Film space. Tamil cinema has always been part of. Uh, uh, it, it has been used as political tools, mm. like for the past like I've noticed seven, that. eight years. It's been used as political tools, and uh, there is a blessing as well as curse for Tamil filmmakers. You don't have parallel movement in Tamil. Whatever you do, you have to do it for the mainstream. So you dilute it to an extent, and then the Tamil mainstream viewers are forced to watch any kind of anything that is given to them. Like in, in terms of there is no elite viewers, mm. where you just make an art house film, a parallel movement, parallel film that is constrained to a, a limited viewers, mm. and you have other means of getting back the investment. Everything has to go to the theaters, like. A theater that runs the Rajinikanth film will have to run, accommodate another film that would, in another place, be called a parallel film uh, or an art house film. Hmm. So, this is the background in which the Tamil films are being made, and Tamil filmmakers think through this only, and making political statements, especially. what politics political statements is very very prevalent in uh, tamil and the audiences have a direct connect to this kind of uh, like undertone the whatever like yeah. an, an subtext, actor they yeah, need it. yeah yeah an, an an actor who who might or might not or whenever he feels like coming or whenever he does not feel like coming wants to make a statement and the audiences understand that as a Uh, a reference to his political entry or the political party that he's going to start like like any actor who's been acting for 15 years successfully will have an idea of getting into politics like what politics so his whether he has it or not his fans have it so we like you know we just live around that and uh, the dravidian movement had got a very strong presence even today in uh, tamil nadu because of the effective and efficient use of uh, films as a means of taking their ideology and that has given a lot of uh, freedom for tamil filmmakers and the tamil viewers of a kind of a uh, broader and uh, on a personal level for me to start with i have an actor like dhanush who is going to back me so i don't have issues with uh, my investments right and then to i the major uh, challenge i had was with asura because it's a not it's, it's not just a political film it's a dalit uh, film like where the protagonist is the dalit and the protagonist is not a meek protagonist he stands up for what he feels is right and uh, he brings down the upper caste people It, this was the most uh, challenging thing for me because we had a lot of uh, while uh, pre production and while we were shooting we had a lot of uh, like speculations like it's it's a, we were thinking on we did not want to offend anyone because we are stating facts and we want everyone to understand the film and i i we wanted a dalit to have a representation within the film and then uh, a, a non dalit to see that and feel uh, what had happened in the past like how their parents or their their grandparents were responsible for whatever that had happened mm. and uh, that that was the major challenge that we had in uh, doing it. and so that that was the reason we refrained from mentioning any specific cast of course we set it up in a particular geographical space where there are certain castes are uh, dominant but we did not make any 
specific you don't references. spell it out yeah we did not make any specific references so that everybody felt responsible for what had happened to the protagonist and his family and whatever that happened and of course we had all historical references whatever that were shown in the film were incidents that really happened mm. so that was in the collective unconscious as well like and in the memory itself like people had it in their memory when they watched the film and then they took responsibility for it and i think that was the reason behind the the, the so massive success yeah mainstream success of the film yeah yeah, yeah. india it has such a unique landscape for political films in general though it, india does india because, yeah, very unique because one i i don't know about especially the local politics <laughs> i'm not a master in the national politics no. of india either right um and so like all, a lot of references in films mm -hmm. we will never understand uh, no <laughs> ever because exactly. we're not there um like if you make certain references here we'd understand because obviously right. we're in the political landscape here and all that kind of stuff and then there's some political stuff from india that we would pick up on but it's very minute usually mm -hmm. um but the fact that they also have a censor board especially now that won't let them say everything they want um probably um and so they have to and specifically with Tamil because I've heard it repeated now multiple times that they've never had a parallel cinema mm. that's been repeated multiple times by multiple different actors and directors now that we've heard mm -hmm. that so everything that they do has to be made for the mainstream um, which is super interesting I don't know maybe it was Monty Rotnam's fault because he made messaging and he made points in films mm. that were political right but that was big and maybe or Kamal Hassan I was gonna say that's uh, the other contributor he's the other one yeah um, and maybe there's people before that as well sure and maybe that's why like it never went to parallel because they were like no they're making this into the the national media of Tamil cinema mm -hmm. um, so I just I find it very unique because it's very different than obviously here very a political director can say whatever they want and, and a, or a documentarian like Michael Moore they can say anything they want and not only will the government not interfere at all the government will say nothing no because no matter what is being put on film yeah i mean and you can have on the <laughs> whether it's in a publisher to the government or just flat out lunacy or flat out just propaganda of um what was that stupid film that just came out recently that the, the, the sex trafficking one sound of freedom oh my god uh, <laughs> who who oh. you know about the yeah. that yeah. yeah yeah um but like is it is it batshit that film i haven't seen it but i've heard about it they have every right to make that film and say right. whatever the fuck they want to say right and that's allowed but it's not the case fully in india no i mean uh, go to the grand extreme if the KKK wanted to make a movie yep. about how much they hate everyone who isn't white, mm -hmm. they could do it here, yep. and the government wouldn't stop them. Yep. And people they, would. People would protest. People would say that we shouldn't have films propagating hate and propaganda, but the government wouldn't get involved. And there, there's. it's interesting. It saddens me that the question has to be asked in she asked it. What 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 are the things you have to take into consideration about how what you can say and what you can't say? A filmmaker shouldn't ever have to have that consideration. They should just say whatever they want to say, and then let the chips fall where they may. Granted, there are complexities to Indian cinema and Indian politics and Indian culture that I we will not only never understand, yeah. but because we do not live in India. There are, I think there are many, many times, I've learned this lesson myself, where the West has said something about Indian politics, where the West should really just keep their nose out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, um, It's, yeah, it's stuff that I, <laughs> I don't really try to get into it. I just like, what'd you guys think? You know, yeah. You know, I asked that all the time. I was like, if we miss stuff, if, the, like, we, right. if you, we need to know stuff, please let me know, because it's all ignorance up here. No, and for me, it's the line for me when it comes to anything 
about a political statement, say in a film from India, is is there's two criteria for me when I would voice something about it. First and foremost, it's primarily uh, something that's being depicted in in film or TV. Mm -hmm. The other one being it transcends the politic of it and becomes more about the human rights yeah. universal aspect Absolutely. of it. I will because always speak up for human rights. For everything sure. else, everything else tends to fall into divisiveness, even even here. Um, and but but again, you can make a film like Sound of Freedom. You can make a film like uh, you have every the right. Last Temptation of Christ. Yep. You can make a film like Platoon or JFK. Again, Oliver Stone films. If the um, terrorists that um, took down the World Trade Center wanted to make a film, like this is a weird scenario, obviously it wouldn't happen, but if they wanted to make a film about how they were right in knocking down the towers, sure, go right ahead. Sure. You're going to lose a lot of money and no one's going to support it. No one's going to support it but because it's universally sure, if you want, okay. If you want to make that, go right ahead. I will support your right to do that. <laughs> yeah, but it, and it, it is... I a, will not go see it. <laughs> yeah, and there are there are challenges that filmmakers do face in India where they recognize multiple things that filmmakers here don't have the constraints of. Is this is the censor board going to approve this? Yeah, am I going to hurt people's sentiments? Yeah, is that going to make people not see a film that I otherwise want them to film? And is it worth the cost of that for me to do that, or am I now being uh, in, uh, not honoring and I'm being hypocritical in my uh, elevation of, of artistry it's it's a it's so much more complex than anything filmmakers have to deal with here yeah so much more absolutely insane uh would Mani Ratnam or um Kamal Hassan be considered um uh political I would say I would say yes so many of their films at least partially touch upon so many things in that regard and talk about things that are the, the, I, you know what I think they're brilliant at? Oh. They're brilliant at presenting things that are political, but focusing on the human rights element of it so that you see something and you're left to decide for yourself. They don't... Oliver Stone is preachy. Michael Moore is preachy. I think Kamal Hassan and... Uh, well, this director, Mani Rotnam and this director. Well, we do what we just saw. Do yes, feel preachy at all? Not at all. I think they do a very good job of showing things to people and saying, "Here's what I see," and based on the lens I'm seeing it through, tell me what you think. Yeah, uh, I agree. Um, you guys, let us know. Obviously, uh, are they actually considered political directors? Um, I know. Kamal Sahn's gotten into politics before. Rajnikan's got... That was a funny thing he yeah. said, because it's apparently literally a natural step. Uh, Rajnikan <laughs> did it. Um, there's been rumors that VJ would do it. Like, this, like I guess it's just one of the natural steps, I suppose. Yeah, well, it... it, for, it for, uh, especially in Tamil, it feels like. Uh, Tamil Nadu. Yeah, it it, it kind of goes... Ronald there's a, There's a reason... Yeah, there's a reason why so many artists are vocal about things politic they really do go hand in hand they really should go hand in hand for anybody that cares at all about anything pertaining to humanity well unfortunately politics includes human rights which it shouldn't every it should be universal that right you know we should be kind to people and people should have all their rights yeah <laughs> but unfortunately it's political no it is and it, it's anytime you have a group of people together anywhere in the world you're going to have the politics of that group have to be navigated in a way. And that's one of the biggest problems I've seen, especially here in America, is, is the, the problem of people no longer learning how to live with each other and recognize that you can't get everything that you want to now it's the, the you know, you're on that side and I'm on this side. We're right. You're wrong. And we have to do everything we can to stop you. That's sucky. I agree. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let us know which one, because I know uh, people will give a lot of recommendations for his next films. Obviously, please listen to what his yeah, next films Yeah, very interested. That one with the noosh looks really good. Yeah. And, and it, I think we talked about it. I thought we had seen the one with the noosh. We haven't. I was thinking about a different film. 
um, when, uh, during the review. Oh, we okay. Talk about one of those films. I okay. thought we had seen one, but it, it was not. It was not a different that one. film. Yeah. Um, but let us know down below.